Mathuval Karananadi Stalin is an Indian politician serving as the 8th and current Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu. The son of the former Chief Minister M. Karananadi, Stalin has been the president of the Dravida Munetra Kazagam Party since August 28, 2018. He was the 37th mayor of Chennai from 1996 to 2002 and first deputy chief minister of Tamil Nadu from 2009 to 2011. Stalin was placed 30th on the list of India's most powerful personalities in 2019 by the Indian Express. Stalin is the third son of second chief minister of Tamil Nadu and DMK chief M. Karananadi, and was born to his wife, Dayalu Amal. Stalin was born in Madras, now Chennai, on March 1, 1953. Karananadi was addressing a condolence meeting for Soviet leader Joseph Stalin, who died only four days after his child was born, and thus decided to name his son after Stalin. Stalin studied at the Madras Christian College Higher Secondary School. He completed a pre-university course at Vivekananda College, and obtained a history degree from Presidency College, Chennai of University of Madras in 1973. M.K. Stalin was conferred honorary doctorates by Anna University on August 1, 2009. Stalin married Durga on August 20, 1975 and has two children. His son is Udayaniti Stalin, an actor and politician. Like his father, Stalin has also publicly disclosed that he is an atheist. But he also said that he is not against any religious beliefs. His political career began in his early teens when he started the DMK Gopalaparam youth wing in a tea shop with several friends. As a 14-year-old, he campaigned for his uncle, Murasoli Moran, in the 1967 elections. In 1973, Stalin was elected to the General Committee of the DMK. He came to limelight when he was jailed in Central Prison, Madras under the Maintenance of Internal Security Act for protesting against the emergency in 1976. He was beaten up in custody and a fellow DMK prisoner C. Chittibabu died of injuries and police torture while protecting him. He wrote his final year BA exams while in prison. Stalin formed the DMK Youth Wing. In 1982 Stalin became the Youth Wing Secretary of DMK, a post he held for more than four decades. Stalin with social activist M.B. Nirmal in 1987 Stalin contested the assembly polls unsuccessfully from Thousand Lights constituency in Chennai. In 1989 Stalin contested assembly polls from Thousand Lights constituency again, and won. The DMK government got dismissed in 1991 before completing its full five-year term. In 1991, he contested for the third time from the same assembly constituency, but lost to K. A. Krishnaswamy of the AMG. Again in 1996, Stalin won the election as an MLA from the Thousand Lights constituency. In 2003, Stalin became Deputy General Secretary of the DMK. In 2011 Stalin changed his constituency for the first time in his political career, moving from Thousand Lights to Kolatur constituency on the outskirts of Chennai City. Stalin became the city's first directly elected mayor in 1996. He coined a pet project called Sangara Chennai, lauded for improving Chennai's infrastructure. His efforts in improving city infrastructure earned him the title of Managara Tantai. During his tenure as mayor, M.K. Stalin was well received by the people of Chennai. He modernized the garbage disposal system of the city of Chennai by giving priority to cleaning works. He implemented integrated development projects such as health, public construction and schools. He solved the congestion of the city of Chennai by building huge flyovers. During his first tenure, nine major flyovers and 49 short bridges were built. He also improved the standard of corporation schools to be on par with private schools. In addition, parks and fountains were set up at 18 major junctions. 81 parks were cleaned and properly maintained. Saplings were planted at the Chennai Marina, the second largest beach in the world. The slaughterhouse at Parambur have been modernized to avoid polluting the environment. During his tenure, it was decided to build flyovers on 10 congested roads before the end of his term. 95 crore rupees have been allocated for the construction of flyovers. However, 30% of the funds were left over when the flyovers were opened according to him. He was re-elected mayor for the second time in 2001. However, the then Chief Minister J. Jayalalita enacted the Tamil Nadu Municipal Laws Act, in 2002, which prevents a person from holding two elected posts in the government. This law was applied retroactively to M.K. Stalin's case in a move widely seen as aimed at removing him as Chennai's mayor. However, the Madras High Court struck down the law stating that legislative bodies were not prevented from making laws affecting the substantive rights of persons retrospectively. 
However, the court held that under Madras City Municipal Corporation Act, 1919, a person cannot be mayor for two consecutive terms, though unlike M.K. Stalin, earlier mayors were not directly elected. M.K. Stalin did not appeal in the Supreme Court. In the 2006 assembly elections, the DMK regained control of the state assembly, partly due to Stalin's efforts. Stalin became the Minister for Rural Development and Local Administration in the government of Tamil Nadu and retained this office throughout his term. During his tenure, he developed his skills as an administrator, he was instrumental in the extensive spread of women's self-help groups across the state by establishing 175,493 women SHGs. He also established various comprehensive drinking water projects such as Hajanikal and Ramanadapuram water schemes. In 2008, he became treasurer of DMK. On May 29, 2009, Stalin was nominated as Deputy Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu by Governor Sarjit Singh Barnala. On January 3, 2013, Karananadi named Stalin as his heir apparent, thus ending a long-time confusion about who would take over the party reigns after Karananadi's death. During the 2016 assembly election, Stalin went on a statewide tour titled Namaku Name to appeal to the youth. Stalin won the Kolatur constituency and was appointed as the opposition leader. In 2017, Stalin went on another Namaku Name tour. In 2018, his father Karananadi died, leaving Stalin the president of the DMK. M.K. Stalin and Setapati Mudia in 2018 M.K. Stalin formed the Secular Progressive Alliance in Tamil Nadu under the National United Progressive Alliance and led the alliance in 2019 general election in the state. The Secular Progressive Alliance won 39 out of 40 parliament seats, and 12 out of 21 in the assembly by-election, with 52% of the vote. It was his first victory since taking charge as DMK president. In the 2021 assembly elections, Stalin led the campaign for the Secular Progressive Alliance. They won 159 seats out 234, with the DMK itself winning an absolute majority with 132 seats. Stalin took his oath as chief minister on May 7, 2021 along with the rest of his cabinet. Having taken oath amid the second wave of the pandemic, Stalin started a war room to monitor the status of beds, ambulances and oxygen supply. He attended an SOS call of a lady, spoke with her for 30 minutes and arranged her a bed at a hospital. He wore a PPE suit and visited the COVID-19 patients at their wards against advice in government ESI Medical College Hospital. A new economic advisory council was set up with leading economists, including Esther Duflo, Raghuram Rajan, Jean Drez, Arvind Subramanian, and former finance secretary S. Narayan. Tamil Nadu was branded as a state with highest novel coronavirus vaccine wastage in the previous government but the Stalin government made the state to top in the list of states with lowest COVID-19 wastage policy. Stalin handed over appointment orders of the HR and CE department to trained aspirants of all castes as temple priests on August 2021. Stalin quoted the reformist leader Periyar in an official release which said Periyar fought for equal rights in worship for all those who believe in God. On August 2021, Stalin ranked first among all chief ministers of India with 42% in favor, in the mood of the nation survey done by the India Today magazine. Stalin changed the name of Sri Lankan Tamil refugee camps to called rehabilitation camps and said they are not orphans, we are there for them. In September 2021, he announced that Periyar's birth anniversary will be celebrated as Social Justice Day every year. In June 2021, CM Stalin announced that the state law ministry will review the legal cases filed by the previous government. In September 2021, Stalin government withdrew over 5,570 legal cases filed by the previous AM government from the past 10 years against the journalists and the protesters seeking the repeal of the three farm laws promulgated by the union government. Citizenship Amendment Act, Methane Extraction, Neutrino Project, Kudankulam Nuclear Power Plant and the Chennai Salem Expressway Project. Actor Producer. Thanks for watching.